A quick question about uh, Terminator 2. Mm -hmm. How quickly after that movie came out did you find yourself getting strange looks from people? It was pretty immediate, you know. I mean, I, I, I actually, because I was so blown away with the movie, I went and saw the movie a couple of times. I went to the Cinerama Dome. Actually, Jim Cameron got me a block of tickets and went down to the Cinerama Dome in, in Hollywood yeah. on Sunset. And by then, all the sci-fi fans and everybody, all everybody was sort of pre into that movie kind of knew what I looked like and it was there man it was really it's a trip it, it really is it's a weird thing well what was the weirdest reaction you got from someone on the street hmm well I, I actually just told somebody this story but I was in I was literally I was in Chicago and I think the movie had been out for three days and I really found this fascinating I was walking on some famous street there and I just auditioned you know I read for this director for this other movie and I'm walking down the street and I really look still like the Terminator character and I was really, really thin and I had a real short haircut and I'm walking down the street and all of a sudden this businessman, it's like the height of lunch hour in Chicago, this businessman, they like this this Mercedes car like turned around like you turned and like curb parked it and they're all going, no the Terminator! And I, these were business guys and I'm going like, wow man, this is, this is pretty wild. Yeah. So that was my big thing. Well, loved you in, in Fire in the Sky. Thanks. At, w were there a lot of movies that you turned down after uh, T2, that they, they, they wanted you to do something similar, that you wanted to get away from? Yeah, that, that, that was a definite, uh, that was a very strange period, and I, I've talked about that a little bit. Um, it's, it, I, I was in a very unique position because I'm this brand new guy who did this role that a lot of special effects were involved in. He didn't really say a lot. You know, what, 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 who is this guy? There's none of me in that, in that character. So, it was weird because I think Hollywood didn't know how to perceive me, you know, and I think initially a lot of the offers I got were, you know, kind of related to that or psychotics or killers or real intense kind of guys that stare at a lot. And, and uh, I was just totally perplexed as to what to do next. I had no clue. And I didn't know anything like career, you know, what, how, what do you think career-wise and da, da So I didn't work for a long time. I didn't work for like a year, year and a half. And I, I did a little movie with, um, with Terry Hatcher, that is this little tiny movie, and then I did Fire in the Sky. Now, Robert, I've always been fascinated with like the great gig for an actor who's starting out. Uh, Tim Robbins, I don't know if you knew this, but he was in Top Gun. He was Tom Cruise's uh, partner uh, in the last part of the movie, but you only see his face twice. But that was a six-month paying job for him. Uh, wow, way to go, Tim. <laughs> well, Die you know, Hard, well, sorry, Die Hard 2, was that uh, a great gig for you? Oh, that was a tremendous gig for me. I was working for Joel Silver, and uh, I was one of the assassins. Very luckily, I was cast. I had two roles, but I was kinda, it was the kind of character that I had to be around a lot. And actually, I worked, I, I, I was on there for a long time, and it really <laughs> only show up in one scene. So yeah, it was my first really big payday, you know? <laughs> Well, sort of like the business gives it back to you. As a matter of fact, I could finally afford to buy my wife an engagement ring after that. And I, I got to work with Bruce Willis. He kills me. <laughs> Couple of shots. <laughs>she's probably a little bit more aware but not in a very you know not in like a precocious sort of way not at all you know i mean very kind of i've been on a movie set before you know she was just a very normal girl very natural she knew her lines you know and she she did her job day in day out it got so bad at a certain point though i'd watch her do these these scenes and i'd watch her do these reactions and you know andy and i would just go do you even want to shoot a close up now of yourself and it's like no man i mean Keep it on her, because she was really that good.